So there are 10 things that I'm in charge of. Do you want them again? No. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> so the, the, it, the text, the performers, the concept, design, which includes set and costume, lighting, sound, music, movement, video, and the creative team. So it, if, we, if we think, when you're, when you're watching a piece of work, <coughs> you're looking at all of these elements, maybe the running the creative team isn't something you see, so you, you could take that aside. But it, all, the, all you're looking at is the combination of all of those elements. So you, how the performers are going to be just view it through the lens of two of these categories. Just go into, oh, I'll just watch it for lighting and movement. Or, oh, I'll just watch it for performers and video. And just select the strands and actually start to see how the directors are constructing things. Does that make sense? Um, but, but I think, for me, one thing that seems really, really important is that sometimes this practice of theatre making is, is slightly mystified. It's made this, ooh, this magical thing, you know, the thing like that. And, and I think it isn't at all mysterious. I think it's really scientific, really <coughs> concrete. I think anyone can do it. So I, I don't think there's sort of a sense in which there's a sort of hierarchy of people who can do it and those who can't. So that, that's why I think these tools are so important politically, because they say that anyone can learn how to do it and they are concrete and graspable, readable, um, because anyone in the audience can read What's the, are the lights working or not? Yes or no. Is the movement strong or weak? Yes or no. How's the presentation of the text strong or weak? You know, any, anyone can make those decisions. Um, it's something that your imagination can be activated by. Mm. So otherwise, it can it can all be, it can be quite acting can be quite vague. Yeah. Very imprecise. Very imprecise, yeah. and some and so. Anything, any system that helps you get something to grip onto is, mm -hmm. and this is, a, I think this is the one for me that is yeah, most useful. Because I was thinking about the, all the lovely teachers here and the, the, the best that we could offer in our hour, and I don't know exactly how to do it, so we're doing this live, <coughs> we plan, would be um, to sh show me as a director giving Ben an instruction, and then you can see the relationship between the instruction and the outcome. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But I think, I, th I said a bit earlier, I don't know if you think that's right, I think that the art form can be a bit mystified. Mm. And the thing that's really good about this, I think you used, used a really good word, is concrete. It's concrete. These are concrete tools. But I'm not sure how we're going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I'd like to sort of di devise it with you, really, because in a way, then you can also see the conversation between the director and actor live happening, which is it, interesting also to observe. So. I wrote sort of a list of um, the key things, um, time, place, immediate circumstances, long-term biography, events, intentions, and between scenes. Those, those are the key tools. And I just wondered whether we could um, maybe think of one simple series. We won't probably get on to speaking, because that is quite an advanced stage. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, whether we could just think of a simple sequence of actions and play them with different different instructions. Yes. What do you think? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Think about this space. Should, would, would it be like coming into the garage, um, getting into the car? Yes. Yes. Okay. So that's so that's um, if you think also about some. Um, acting and indeed directing, it does boil down to literally what the person is doing, isn't it? It's really, it's quite simple. So, can we in through that door? Do we need, do you need a set of keys then? I think we've actually I've got, got the, my own keys. But we've actually got the actual car keys. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, I was just saying that I had, um, I've actually not done fake theatre doors. So these really lock. They lock. So there's such Jesus. anxiety each time. That, yeah, Jesus. Why? Why do you say Jesus? Well, because if someone puts the keys in the wrong place, or there's no, or they lose the keys, or they, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're sick, can't get out. So if, on, if, if I'm the director and I'm, I'm asking you to use real keys, 
What, why do you think I'm be doing that? It's brilliant because you you actually are um, subject to the real uh, universe you're in. It's yeah. not pretend. There's, so, there's no faking it. Yeah. <laughs> So, so if you if you get tired, sometimes that it's very hard for the actors' imagination, or they don't have to worry about that. You don't, the you don't have to act it, which is so much easier. Anything you don't have to act is better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, do, you want to, do you want to explain what that's about? Because that's 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 quite an interesting thing to say. Do you, do you want to explain what it means about not wanting to act? What's yes. That? You don't. Well, it, the worst thing that, for me anyway, and I think not not lots of actors do this. The worst thing is having to pretend. I mean, I know that that sounds absurd because it's all pretending, but it isn't actually. Mm. And particularly with, um, yeah, anything. And, and also that I love if there's, it's very hard to just come on and sort of generate acting. Yeah. <laughs> or something that, you know, you think people are going to want to watch. And actually it's better if you just have a series of things you have to do, like Katie was saying earlier. Yeah. Okay, so, so that is very important to hear from the actor's point of view actually what they need. It, it can be just to have a series of very concrete things that they've got to do. Is that help them modulate how they're going to do them. Okay, so we, I think what we'll do is we'll present this, we're looking at doing stage directions of an imaginary play. And so imagine in the script, we're looking at the script and it says, the man enters through the door, he takes off his coat, picks up the keys and gets into the car. Okay, so that, that's the stage direction. So we're just going to look at the directing of these stage directions, okay? Um, we, we, we don't know the play, so we, <laughs> we can't do any of the preparation, but we're just looking at how, for you to see how the instructions change the acting. Does that make sense? Okay, so where should I put the keys here? Sure. Yes. Should we remove these? Yeah, the keys and go in the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Okay, so this is the actor with zero instruction other than literally to do the stage directions. Okay, so stand by and action. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> so that is with zero instructions. So let's let's imagine in our minds that as a director, the um, instructions that you're giving are like a sort of keyboard. So you've got different knobs that you're going to turn to adjust the acting. Does that make sense? So let us just do the simplest one, which is we're going to look at time. And then let's, that's one knock, so I've given that one, I've just adjusted that, so it's 7 a.m. And let's say it's winter and it's freezing in the garage. Okay, so two, two new instructions. So let's do the same actions. But I still have to take the coat off. Yes. <laughs> and be freezing. <laughs> yeah, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stand by and action. So let's now give um, an instruction which is about immediate circumstances. So that's the 24 hours before. So he's going to keep time, 7 a.m., place, winter, and it's cold. Um, and now we're going to add immediate circumstances. Um, you've just got a phone call from a lover who say, says that in, you were fast asleep because you're not someone who gets up at 7 a.m. and suddenly your lover rang you said you're in trouble, can you come now? It's great. Okay, so I'm just give you one minute to think about that because that's a hard instruction. 
with action bit, time to digest the instruction. Stand by and action. so much yeah so so I could say to him actually I didn't have a clear impression of the cold then yeah that was a failing <laughs> <laughs> it was it went down in my it, thinking it went down his thinking so would you mind trying the three sure. things and keeping the cold as clear as it was the first time no not, so, <laughs> not yet yeah not yet People are not always logical anyway. Yeah, so because it's it a little bit, so you don't have that logic anxiety. It could be. Could be I think we could find good reasons, without yeah. doubt, but let's remove that problem. Okay, good. God, these doors are quite hard. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling really guilty that I've asked the actors to use them. So, your three instructions then, then. Okay, stand by and action. <coughs> With the family, invent a way to the door to convince myself that this, what I'm doing is right. Um, put on the coat, which is another event, which changes the intention to, to prepare myself for the lover who's annoyed with me. I come to the car, I open it up, that's the next event, and it changes it to, ch changes the intention to try to make myself not be, feel sick. Okay. B is for the various specifics of their weather, because it's also for the vows they make together. Lovers elevate some often to extremes. L is for the lies that get perfected. A is for the aims that go around. Ah! Uh -huh. 